All right, this question is telling you exactly what you need out of that reference chart. So uh, hopefully you've trained yourself already to know that when they talk about a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we need to think about the 30, 60, 90 triangle that they give us in the special right triangles portion, right? So what does this mean? This means that without doing any trigonometry, if we know one side of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know all the sides. Now, right now, they're not quite giving us all the sides. We're going to be able to figure it out because they're giving us the sum of the sides. So we can we can create a little algebra here. So let's um, let's think of it like this, right? So they're they're telling us the perimeter of this thing is 18. What is it? Plus six root three. So let's add all these up. That means we're going to have the two x plus the x plus the x root three. So let's write that. The perimeter is going to be the two x plus the x plus the x root three. Right? All three of those things together. Perimeter is always just some of the sides. So that is going to equal 18 plus 6 root 3. So let's combine some like terms here. We have 18 plus 6 root 3. That is equal to 2x plus x is 3x plus x root 3. So without solving for x in the more traditional way where we kind of move things across and, and do all that, we can see what the answer is going to be, right? 6 is my x because that's what's attached to the root 3. And then if 6 were x, right, so x equals 6, let's pop that in here. That would mean 3 times 6 is 18. Check. So it all works out. So what do they want, though? Let's be really careful. They want the longest side. So that's the 2x side because the hypotenuse of a right triangle is always the longest side. So 2x is 12. That is our answer. So uh, lots of little pieces here, but I think this is a great example of a geometry question that the SAT, the College Board, considers hard, but... I consider fairly easy because we're just going to the reference chart. We're kind of just following instructions, doing what we're told. This is the kind of question you cannot get wrong and you cannot stumble on. You cannot wonder what to do. You got to be fast and smooth and know where these formulas are and how to write them out and what the perimeter is and just be able to move through it seamlessly. It's basically that kind of question where if you do stumble, it's going to cost you later on on the truly difficult geometry or other questions that will come later in the module.